हलो केम छो बधा आई होप के तब बदाज तरह घरे बहुज स्वस्थ हो इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ द सर्वे सी ए सी ए सर्विक्स कंटीन्यूइंग द सेम टॉपिक टूडे वील टॉक अबाउट समथिंग मोर इन द सी ए सर्विक्स ओ सॉरी प्रोग्नोसिस ऑफ सी ए सर्विक्स प्रोग्नोसिस मीन्स टू फोरकास्ट द डिज टू फ्यूचर द डिज प्रोग्नोसिस डिपेन्ड्स ऑन डिग्री ऑफ सर्वाइकल डिग्री ऑफ स्प्रेड ऑफ द सर्वाइकल कार्सिनोमा देट मीन्स अप टू वॉट एक्सटेंड द कार्सिनोमा हेज अफेक्टेड द फीमेल जेनेटल ट्रैक दिस विल डिसाइड द प्रोग्नोसिस ऑफ द कंडीशन ऑन एन एवरेज आफ्टर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सिम्टम्स द वुमन कैन सर्वाइव फॉर अबाउट एटीन मंथ्स सो द एवरेज लाइफ स्पान इज अबाउट एटीन मंथ्स वन एंड हाफ इयर ट्रीटमेंट एलोपैथिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू हिस्ट्रेक्टोमी रेडियोथेरापी एंड कीमोथेरापी दिस मोड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट अगेन डिपेंड्स ऑन द एक्सटेंट ऑफ द डिजीज पैलिएटिव मैनेजमेंट इंक्लूड्स सिडेशन एंड ब्लॉक एनेस्थेशिया टू रिलीव द पेन सो दिस वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द एलोपैथिक मोड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट इन होम्योपैथी वी हैव वेरी गुड मेडिसिन to control ca cervix this will discuss in homeopathic therapeutics pap smear this is very important investigation to diagnose ca cervix it is done to diagnose cervical carcinoma cytologically so it is cytological investigation if you know after the age of about 40 years whenever the woman goes for the routine body checkup her one of the Most investigations are Pap smear. Her Pap smear is done, and this is done to detect CA carcinoma or CA cervix because CA cervix is very common postmenopausally. It is very common cause of postmenopausal bleeding per vagina. So every woman should be examined for that, and otherwise also after the age of forty forty five years after menopause, the woman should have Pap smear. once every 6 months or once a year this is to diagnose detect carcinoma in the early stage it was introduced by pepe nicolau and treat in 1943 so these two people introduced pap smear behind the name of this pepe nicolau the smear is called pap smear now let's see how the smear is taken and how it is examined there are two methods of collecting the samples Vaginal smear is made from posterior fornix by using a glass pipette with a suction bulb. The aspirated material is spread evenly on a slide and fixed in equal parts of 95% alcohol and ether. So here vaginal smear is prepared. The second method is the smear is made directly from cervix. A wooden spatula with one end which fits into the external os is applied with little pressure to the cervix and is rotated through 360 degrees the material obtained is smeared on a glass pipette sorry glass slide and fixed immediately so this is the other method of collecting the sample and making a smear so by these two methods the smears are prepared now examination of the smear the carcinomatous cells are abnormal cells they are malignant cells but when you examine the smear before you find out the malignant cells you should be knowing how the normal cells look like so let's see the appearance of normal cells in cervical smear three types of normal cells are seen these are basal cells cells from the middle layer and cells from superficial layer basal cells are the innermost layers they are small rounded and basophilic cells from middle layer are transparent and basophilic cells from superficial layer are acidophilic with characteristic pycnotic nuclei so these three types of normal cells are seen these are seen in the normal smear but when malignancy is there malignant cells are hyperchromatic with great increase in chromatin content its nuclei vary in size and small amount of cytoplasm is seen in undifferentiated malignant cells so this is how malignant cells look like now 
after examining the cervical smear pepe nicolau has given one classification he has given different groups depending on the appearance or non appearance of the malignant cells in cervical smear group 1 it means normal cells it is the normal cervical smear where malignant cells are not present there is no evidence of malignant cells that is group 1 group 2 means atypical cells are due to infection or erosion so in group 2 some atypical cells are seen say he has not said abnormal cells means there is some what deviation from the normal cells these are atypical cells but they are due to some infection or erosion to the genital tract they are again not due to malignancy that is group 2 group 3 cells are present with suspect malignancy means the cells with suspect malignancy are present in group 3 again this is not confirmation it is just a doubt group 4 malignant cells are present in very few number so when you examine the smear most of the cells are normal but few malignant cells are also present group 5 malignant cells are present in large number that is group 5 so he has classified the staging of ca cervix or the extent of the ca cervix into these groups group 1 to group 5 depending on the findings of the cervical smear now what is the significance of the cervical smear what is the importance of the cervical smear or what we have to interpret after knowing these groups group 1 says that normal things that means no malignancy the woman is not having carcinomatous condition that is group 1 group 2 the woman has some infection or erosion of genital tract she may be having vaginal infection or cervical infection so further investigation is done after getting group 2 to diagnose to detect the exact infection or the erosion and accordingly the treatment should be given to that woman group 3 suspect malignancy so to confirm the doubt to confirm suspicion the repeat smear is done and on repeat smear again you find the same status then you have to go for the further investigation like biopsy can be done diagnosis should be confirmed and then further treatment should be given group 4 and 5 confirms malignancy whether few cells are present or large number of malignant cells are present they both confirm malignancy but group 4 may be indicating the initial phase of carcinoma group 5 may be indicating the advanced phase of carcinoma so group 4 and 5 are malignancy they are towards the malignancy of the condition right so from knowing this groupism we can decide the line of treatment what treatment should be given to the patient that we can know from this groupism right so this is the papeni colau classification now how reliable this investigation is reliability of cytology smear depends on various factors like efficiency of preparation and preservation of the specimen so how efficiently the smear is prepared and how it is preserved this will decide the reliability of the investigation second factor is its processing how it is processed and the third factor is efficiency and skill of cytologist cytologist means a person who is conducting this investigation so how efficiently and how skillfully he does the process this will again decide the reliability of the investigation normally in the carcinoma of cervix diagnosis by smear is done with 95 to 100 percent accuracy so mostly it is positive now the value of cytology smears what is the value how important it is pap smear is not the diagnostic investigation not diagnostic in the in the way in the sense you cannot solely liable on the pap smear once you get the pap smear positive you should go for the cervical biopsy biopsy can only confirm the diagnosis but the only 
advantages with the pap smear we can detect carcinoma in the very early stage say in carcinoma in cc2 if you remember the figos classification carcinoma in c2 is stage 0 it is pre invasive carcinoma it is asymptomatic carcinoma the pre invasive carcinoma persists for about years it persists for a long time so if we can detect the carcinoma in these advanced in these early stage then we can avoid the advanced stage of the disease right so the treatment can be started earlier and the dangerous condition of the woman can be prevented this is the very important benefit of having this pap smear so it is very important and always done whenever required so this was all about ca cervix i have completed ca cervix in different sessions i hope you all have enjoyed all the sessions and understood the topic nicely if you have any doubt related to this topic you can ask me so feel free to clear your doubts thank you stay home and stay safe